And my name was only Nick, Nick the Jeweler. One of my clients, uh, Sauce Walker, he's the one who gave me the name Iceman Nick. I iced him up, I iced up everybody. What's up GQ, this is Iceman Nick, custom jeweler out of Houston, Texas, AKA Mr. Dunn Wright. I'm gonna show y'all some of my custom jewelry, custom pendants I have made. If it don't hit, it ain't by Nick, and y'all watching On The Rocks. Out of these over here, my favorite one on this table, I'll say the one recently I did it for my boy Earl Spence. This is a Cuban link chain. Uh, the links, the, these links in the middle which are connected between the Cubans, these are called the infinity links right here. The Cuban link has baguettes in it and then we have four infinity links in the middle. That's why we gave this a name of infinity Cuban link. I put his name on the lock. Errol Spence Jr. The piece is his logo. That's what he go goes by man down. There's a man, two men, and one man is down, the other man, <laughs> you know, hit him. So that's the logo right there, man down. Altogether, this setup was uh, 400,000. This is one of the most expensive pieces done, yes. This is 18 karat white gold. This piece has baguettes around the bezel. The center stone in this piece, in, in the middle of the money bag, as you can see, it's 2.5 karat GI certified, internally flawless yellow diamond. If this diamond was uh, not a GI certified, it would be, I would say, like $10,000 cheaper. The smaller yellow diamonds, as you can see on the letters and on the money bag behind the center stone, these are not treated yellow diamonds. These are natural yellows. You can see anybody, they use the yellow diamonds. 99% are not natural. This stone by itself is $90,000. And the whole piece, he spent 200K on it. The main thing is he wanted it spinning. You see, it spins. The watch I like the most uh, on this uh, table is the chandelier. It's called the Brick AP. The main thing about it is it's got baguettes done all the way. Everywhere. That is, that's why they call it like a chandelier. It has baguette diamonds all the way. Even in the, inside the face, the dial is all baguettes. 18 karat rose gold. Yeah, this plain watch with no diamonds is 65,000. All the way iced up like this is 200K. Florida wants it. His birthday is coming up. He told me to this the one he's getting for his birthday. This is one of my clients. I had done a piece for a Boozy. Every, everybody seen it. Uh, Lil Boozy's head and he liked that piece I made for Boozy so he sent me his picture he said he wanted his piece done just like Boozy and he actually has these chains made with diamonds too you see the guy wearing the chains this guy actually has this piece plus he has the pieces he's wearing on the piece he has those pieces also I make pieces which have pieces talking about the uh, face pieces this is a picture piece I'm making for Jada Youngen and it's not done yet it's still like getting worked on, but I wanted to show this piece is because all the detail work it goes in it. It's not just like a plain piece, you know, he has braids. So this piece is made in different pieces. Like this is his picture and this is the hairs and you know, that's how we put it together. Once I'm gonna put it together after I'm gonna ice it out. This piece, once it's done, it'll be 150,000. He had actually got this piece made from another jeweler which he didn't like the quality of work on diamonds and, and then that's why he had me redo this piece. He wanted to have it done right. And this is another infinity chain. This is Casper, he's another reggaeton artist. This is his logo, it says Los Magicos and that's a Casper right there. He's gonna come pick it up next week too. I just got it ready. All of these clients, Boozy, Flowrider, all my clients, I have long relationship. I've been doing business with them for like over 15 years. Is there anyone out there that you haven't worked with yet that you'd really like to? I would like to make jewelry for Floyd Mayweather. You got a lot of pieces and you got a lot of money. So, Floyd, look what I can do. Hit me up. Uh, yeah, you can say that. I'm a <laughs> SpongeBob fan. This is a Sandy character, as you can see. I just made it for nobody but I posted it on my page. Megan Stallion, she just hit me up yesterday. She was like, I like that piece you posted. I wanna get that one. So she's in town today. So she's gonna come get this one. So I have done a lot of jewelry for her. Uh, I have done the baguette uh, chain for her. I have done the Stally piece. You all probably have seen it, S-T-A-L-L-I, yeah, the Stally piece, I've done that for her. And I've just made some new pieces for her right there. It's a heart. It's made in rose gold. It has enamel. You can see the ribs, and it's actually one heart, but it's two pieces. One is for Megan, and the other one is for her boyfriend, Money Baggio. She's gonna have tennis chains on it, nice size tennis chains. And this heart, as you can see, is like enamel work done. 
right in the middle and then it has diamonds going all the way she told me she wanted a bro broken heart i got on the designing right away and uh, i sent her this and she said she loved it she loved the way i did the ribs the heart broken and you know and she loved it I prefer using diamonds, but sometimes you have to do the enamel work in order to, you know, it, it makes the piece, the lettering stand out. Sometimes, you know, we have to do that, but like as in this piece, the enamel work is real beautiful. It, it brings out the detail on the piece and everything. My client, his name is Bobby. He got this logo and he showed it to me. He wants this for his piece. It has letters Bobby's word in enamel. The rest, we have the diamonds, pave setting all the way. The diamond is a real heavy piece. It has almost 35 carats in diamonds. This piece was 65,000. This is one of my favorite pieces, so I had to ask him, you know, let me borrow it for the show. Yeah, another one I called in, Yoshi. This is uh, one of my good friends. Uh, he plays for the Chicago Bears, a football player. His name is Eddie Jackson. This one has, like I did, enamel work on this too. You can see the hairs, you can see the tongue, the eyes. It has enamel even at the bottom of the shoe. It's a yellow bottom. And it's a real 3D solid piece, solid back. It says Iceman Nick, and if it don't hit, it ain't by Nick. I love making uh, character pieces for my clients. And luckily I haven't had no issue with copyrights yet. <laughs> this is, they call it the Brazilian Jesus. You know, they have this in Brazil. <laughs> if uh, anybody has visited or, you know, everybody has seen it on TV. I made this for one of my number one clients. Boozy. This is the first Brazilian Jesus I made and uh, once I made this for him, like everybody made the smaller versions of it and started selling them. He wears it on a Cuban chain and it hangs like this. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. This piece uh, weighs almost a kilo. It's heavy and it has 50 carats in diamonds. All the way pave diamonds, all round diamonds. At the time when I made this piece for him, it had cost, he had, uh, Boozy had paid 120 for it. 120,000. I made this piece like five years ago. so. Uh, Definitely it's uh, a little bit more than what it was at that time. I don't think any of them is an invest with the investment piece. It's the custom pieces like that especially, I don't consider it uh, like a like a investment. I'll custom make you something, anything you want, you love, I can make it, it's not a problem. But if you're looking for it as an investment, you have to go somewhere else. This one right here? Yeah, this is actually one of the most expensive pieces. It's a Jesus head, Jesus face. I made this for Flow Rider. It's in 18 karat yellow gold and it has uh, 2,500 diamonds in this piece. It's pretty heavy. I cannot wear it. <laughs> you know, I have to start going to the gym to <laughs> just to wear this. It's uh, 1,500 grams. He's actually wearing it on a rope chain. This is a rope chain he wears it on. It goes 360. Diamonds going all, all, all around. How do you feel about making religious pieces? I mean, I, when clients tell me they want this, I, you know, I make, I mean, if they're, if they're willing to pay for whatever, you know, I'll, it's business. <laughs> this is a three row diamond chain. I'm proud to be the inventor of a hair and bone chain, like a four row diamond chain, they used to call it. This is actually a three row. Uh, the first one I made was for Nelly in 2007 for the BT Awards. Nelly called me a day and he said like, he wants like an old school hair and bone, those flat chains, but he wanted iced out. So I was like, how is that possible? Like a hair and bone is too thin and uh, how can we put diamonds in it? And nobody had done it yet. It was a pretty difficult task. I'm the first one. So and now it's a signature. Yeah. This is a piece I just made for Nav. I made it in the baguettes. It has 15 karat diamonds in it. It's one of the new pieces. Actually, I just got it ready yesterday. I met Nev through Cash, Cash from EXO. He's been my friend and client for like over 15 years. Who's your best client? <laughs> I don't wanna hurt, hurt nobody by naming, but um, all my clients are my favorite clients. BBF, Big Bag Family, it's the same the one, this guy, I'm making 20 pieces for him. He's getting all his friends' pieces, but he got the most expensive one. But at the rest of his, all his friends, he's getting them initials like this. BBF, big bag family. And as you can see, the bag is right here on the top where the chain goes through. 
So I'm making these in like three different sizes. This one, this size, there's one, two sizes smaller than this. So this is the same with that money bag piece we talked about. This is a unicorn piece. I just got it ready. This is for Jay Cortez. Uh, he's one of the hardest artists in uh, reggaeton at the moment. And I got him a nice Cuban link chain. This one right here, two tone. He's gonna wear this with this, just like that. This was 25,000 plus the chain. So it's all together, the setup is like 60. Sometimes people just buy the pendants and they put a rope chain depending on their budget. Like a Franco is like a plain gold chain. Cause a chain, a nice diamond chain like this will cost almost as much as a piece or more. This is also a logo. It says S for strap with baguettes. I made this for one of my clients. He's a football player. He plays for the Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. His name is Strap. As you can see, it says S for strap. That's his logo. I put baguettes, like I see, like baguettes on the bezel, baguettes on the four. It's a pretty nice size piece. This is a gorilla. It's a very expensive piece. The client, he especially wanted two carat diamonds in each eye. So just these two stones by itself were like $30,000. It's two tone white gold and rose gold. You can see in the tongue, I had a with red rubies. I really don't like working with rubies, but sometimes you have to and, you know, for the detailing and stuff, but I really like working with diamonds. Rolex, Padex, APs, like all the different watches. This is the AP. That's a brick AP like the other one I had. The chandelier one, the rose gold one I showed you. This one is yellow gold. Yellow gold brick. Actually, this one, uh, the AP has stopped making it. They discontinued it. So it, 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 it holds its value. It's, uh, but I have done the honeycomb setting on it. Yeah, I'm trying to get E40 on the phone. Hey, what's up, E40? Hey, what's up, Nick? What's up, how you doing? What's up, GQ? Yeah, man, Nick got all the pieces, man. He got all the items, man. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, done right. Nice man, Nick. Let me see that grill, the grill we, did, we recently did. <laughs> yeah, it's hidden. You know, they say if it don't hit, it ain't by Nick. That's real talk. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Hey, Nick, let me see what you got. Okay. Oh, man, we, you know, that's, that's done right, man. That's, that's done right, man. That's done right. You seen this? That's done right. You seen the chandelier? Oh, the chandel that's the chandelier all day. Yep, yep. yep. All right, I'll, I'll catch you later, boss. All right, right on, folks. Hey, right on. Much love, uh, GQ. To be in this industry and doing this kind of this amount of pieces and for 20 years, it's not an easy job. I mean, I have done custom pieces which are like the top in the hip hop industry for for the last 20 years. Complex Magazine top five. They rated the top 50 uh, custom pieces uh, in the hip hop indus industry in like last. Uh, 15, 20 years, and I had uh, 10 pieces in the top 50. And the first one was also done by me. It was uh, the Ice Age piece we made for Mike Jones. How many diamonds are in this table here? How many diamonds? It's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> what do you think the, the total value of all the, uh, the jewelry on the table is right now? Like at least three to four million. 